Hey guys, still April 4th here, 7.32 p.m. here on the East Coast. Um, second vlog since I didn't get a chance to put one up um, yesterday. And um, this one's going to be on uh, something I picked up from uh, Ty Lopez, um, but I'll restructure it a little bit, um, kind of to my liking um, and how I, it best suits to me. But I, I call it, um, I think he calls it the law of 33%. I call it like the one third rule. Um, so, and I find it um, pretty beneficial. And I think that people should start applying this at a young age and, and, you know, see how it impacts them. So the way that I can best correlate this to you guys. So one third of your people should be within your economic category, right? So you have people that can live the same type of lifestyle that you do, um, have the same type of goals that you do. These are your, your close friends typically. Um, and to, to emphasize on this a little bit, um, you are, uh, I think I've covered this in a vlog before, but you are an example of your five closest friends. So your five closest friends, that's pretty much how your personality is shaped, more or less. Um, plus the experiences you encountered growing up through life. But currently, the way you are is, an, an, is a reflection of your five current best friends. So if you don't like the way you are, at this current time, sometimes you have to change that circle around you, change the friends around you, change the scenery around you, and you'll see that things start to change for you. So back to the one-third law. Um, again, one-third are those on your level, those who are on your economic level. They have same types of ambitions, same types of goals, and more or less make around the same amount of money that you do. And you have... Um, the one one third level below you those are people that you kind of influence those are people that you can reach out to you can help that aren't quite where you're at they kind of want to get to where you're at and those are the people you can help build up and that's the way you should look at them not any less than you but as a uh, person or people that you can help get to where you're at by your experience and you help guide them there Everybody's a mentor in some sort of way, whether they realize it or not. And it's just how you use those tactics and skills to help get those people to where you're at. And, and sometimes you do it effortless, effortlessly without even noticing. So we'll move on to um, one of the more important ones. Not, not to say that the other levels aren't important, but these are this last level, the one third level, the people that are above you. I'm talking about like, um, five ten years ahead of you where you want to be in five or ten years those people are important to you because those are the people that you want to emulate those are the people that you want to be like that's the economic level that you want that you would consider a little bit more economic economic freedom than when you're where you're currently at so i find that very beneficial because then you have some mentors that you can look up to that can give you guides strategies um things to help you help make your life a little bit easier and that top level there that I, I, I don't want to say top but that that other one-third level because each level is equally important and you should have friends in each level so you can help build them help maintain your current level and help always push to to levels above to where you're currently at so all these different levels kind of shape to you into the person of where you're currently at, where you want to be, and where you've been. Um, and that's kind of the best way that I can explain it. Um, and if you think and reflect back, even if you're kind of young, you've had friends along the way. Some of those friends have dwindled um, because you lost contact. You have different goals, different ambitions. You tend to break apart. And some of those friends remain strong through adversity, through different times, through bonds, and different types of relationships. And those are the ones that are on your, your main level playing field, your, your uh, second level. So we'll call the first level the people that are you know want to reach your level. We'll call the second level the level where you're currently at. And the third level the level that you want to get to um, and that you, would, you think you would feel comfortable being at. So that, again, that if you reflect back thinking on that first level, how you were reacting then, what were your friends like back then? 
were they helping you or hurting you in your ambitions and your goals and things that you wanted to do in life? Um, and that can even apply to family. Um, as, as cold as it may sound, sometimes you may have to cut family off for one reason or another if they tend to hold you back or block your 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 progress. And, and believe it or not, and as harsh as this may sound, your family is your toughest critics. And if they see you succeeding more so than they are, if you don't come from an overwhelmingly successful family where everybody tends to succeed, um, but if you are succeed, succeeding more than they are, sometimes they just want to bring you back down to their level because they see you doing better than them and they didn't think that that was possible. So they'll do things, they'll doubt you, they'll tell you that you're not capable of doing certain things. And when somebody, the mind frame I have, when somebody tells me I can't do something, that just lights a fire under me to prove you absolutely wrong. I don't care if I have to lose sleep over it. I don't care if what I have to do to prove you wrong. But if you tell me I can't do something, I will do everything in my power to prove you wrong. Um, if you tell me that it's it's just something I can't do because of lack of motivation or, or lack of skill or ability, you can learn all those things. Um, motivation is, is one thing that it is tough to learn. But um, aside from that, if you... Again, if you tell me I can't do something, I don't use that as a roadblock. I use it as a as an obstacle to get across and an opportunity to learn from. And I've learned a lot in my life that way. So again, the just to reiterate and to bring it back full circle, the one third that you're trying to help get to where you're at. That's the first level. The second level, where you're currently at. It's a good reflection of your five current um, closest friends. Um, and then the level where you want to be, that level where you want to be, most people are pretty solid in the first two levels. They have the people who they're trying to help out. They have the people that are closest within uh, their range that are they emulate and they act like. But to really get to the next level, you need to build some friends and some connections on that next level. Meet with people that are um, 10, 20 years ahead of you, that are making millions. Um, it's It's... Sometimes it's easier than you think. Sometimes it's harder than you think. But make an effort to meet these types of people. Put yourself in a predicament where you have an opportunity. Like locally here, we have an event that, and I think I've touched on this before, called Entrepreneur Night, where you can meet people that make, I don't know, um, minimum wage, right? All the way up to people making millions of dollars. And having that, that kind of... Uh, gap there that that huge wide span that variety of type of person there just really solidifies make some friends within that community and those people who go there have the same type of mindset if you're the entrepreneur type so find something that really correlates with with your brain waves and it's going to correlate with theirs i remember the first one i was kind of forced into because it was uh, a, an event that happened in my work so i had to work it but I had more of like a management type of position that evening where I could float around and really talk to people and get to know people. In doing that, I learned a lot. I met a lot of different types of people, your average Joes, people above you, below you, and um, people that are within your realm. And seeing those types of people, you really do learn a lot from the people of where you want to be at, like the next level above you. Sometimes you can see their spending habits. You can mimic them. How did they get to a certain credit score? How did they get so much money saved? What is your um, like schedule, daily schedules look like? How many hours do they sleep? You know, all these different little basic things are guidelines to success, in my opinion. So if you take a successful person, a lot of CEOs. Um, in this world from of the top Fortune 500 companies, they tend to get up between 3.30 and 4.30 in the morning just to get a jump on the day. So come 7 o'clock, they've already been up for a couple of hours. And yeah, it's tough to do that, but they have to stay ahead of their their competition. And they make the sacrifice of sleep or they just get to bed a little bit earlier than everybody so they can do that. So they can be up before everybody so they can know what was going on. Um the night prior or the day prior and stay on top of their game and it really takes a huge effort to get there but if you have these mentors and these people 
or where you want to be at within your circle. They don't have to be on your necessary level, but they're in your circle of your realm of that top level. You can really learn a lot from them. And there's a lot to be said. There's a lot to be told. And it's like a, a, a wise old man. He lives through his experiences and some of his information is just invaluable that he can pass out, pass on down to generations. And we're, we're a product of maybe 500 years or more of, of lineage that's just been passed down and passed down and, and we still do things that we've done since mankind began so there's a lot of things but all that was wisdom that was passed down from generation to generation and all that kind of circumvents um, everything and it helps you develop into the person and and be on the level that you want to be and, and it will really help motivate you because you see these people as real as tangible as objects within your within your reality that you can now grasp onto, you can talk to, they're just a phone call away, and you can ask them specific questions, and they have a lot of info, and you'd be surprised that people, I've said this before, people like helping other people. It just comes natural, makes them feel good. People like receiving the help, and they like giving it. So, and that's why you have to have those three levels. And you don't have to distinguish, like, every person, like, okay, this person is in this level. Just have a variety of people, but make sure that, that, um, that third level, the higher echelon of where you're trying to get to, make sure you have some people in that level. A lot of people don't like to venture outside that because they think that they're not capable, intellectually capable of having conversations with them or they just feel like money makes them inferior. I'll, I'll tell you something that really brings it down to to where it makes sense to me, and I learned this in the military, that, um, and I, I heard this from a four-star general one time talking to us, and this is the top of the top. Um, and I think I was just a, an E3 where I was I was damn near the bottom. And he told me I put on my pants the same way you do. That he has an open door policy and if you ever want to just come by and chit chat with him, talk to him, then the door is always open. And it's that type of mentality that really puts soldiers at ease and gives you the opportunity to be like, hey, obviously they don't encourage it. Um, you should only see them when you have... Uh, problems unless you guys were just buddies before and, and that's highly unlikely but it's uh it's happened before but that kind of opportunity that humbleism really speaks volumes to me and it also correlates that they're just as equal as we are they all started at the same place if not a different place and that essentially they wake up in the morning just like i do and they have to put on their pants just like I do. There's no magic button that puts on their pants for them. So they're no better than I am. They just have a little bit more wisdom and experience to help them achieve to get the, the goals that they wanted to get to in life. And, and you need to tap into that potential, that resource that is um, very useful information to help you get to where you want to go. So that'll be it for um, the second vlog for today. I believe I have one more to put up. And I will, I appreciate you guys watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, all of the above. And um, I got one more to put up, and but I am pretty happy with the way that vlog just went. So I'll see you guys on the next one. I hope you enjoyed this one.